What's going on, Pisces? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Pisces, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you right now. You are, you're in, you're, it's like one foot in, one foot out, right? Like right now you're supposed to be attracting someone who is, again, your kindred spirit or soulmate, someone that just sees galaxies in your eyes. But there is an energy block, a love block preventing this from happening. This love block has to get cleared. This love block could be a limiting belief or a past experience, but this is causing trauma. This trauma has to get cleared first in order for this person to enter your life. And right now, Source is telling you that you radiate the energy you want to attract. So control the energy that you radiate. I'll give an example. Imagine you want to meet your soulmate or imagine you're in a relationship and you want it to get better. But because of all the data that you collected from your past experiences, you're telling yourself, oh, I don't know if things will change. But right now you got to understand you have to radiate the energy you want to attract. Law of attraction, quantum physics, quantum entanglement, has proven this is the only method like for example if the if you know if if feeling scarcity like feeling like you don't have something worked everyone would have what they want it doesn't work right it's the same thing you did yesterday it doesn't work so what do you gotta do today something new i'll give an example if i was trying to attract my soulmate one trick that i use that works every single time is rather than ask the universe for something i thank the universe as if i've already got it it's the same thing as when you thank someone in advance for a favor hey can you do me a favor thanks right now, I'll give you an example. Rather than be like, universe, please bring my soulmate into my life, which would mean you don't have your soulmate, which is lack, which does not carry the thought of abundance, right? Does not work. Law of assumption. Instead, what I do is I say, universe, thank you so much for bringing my soulmate into my life. I can't believe that you brought my dream gal guy into my life. They are tall, short, blonde hair, blue eyes, brunette, whatever you want. And I can't believe I met them at the park, at the coffee shop, at the grocery store, whatever you want. And you are the best. I thank you so much. Every single time you listen to me, I love you so much universe Mwah, bye what did i do there i told the universe this is what's happening this is the details you need i gave you the shopping list go get it done i did it in a fun calm exciting silly way there was no resistance nothing serious and the universe has a clear direction this is exactly how you do it word for word this is how you get anything you want money love health anything right so right now thank the universe in advance do it in a fun exciting way and it works like a charm now you get the page of wands and the eight of swords and right now source is telling you that by clearing this limiting belief you're going to feel like your genuine authentic self and that is how you track anyone or anything that you're looking for in your life and source is telling you to make things even easier let go of the how and focus on the why in order for this to happen so rather than be like how am i going to meet my soulmate all that stuff which you don't have control over the only thing you need to focus on is the why so for example say rather than soulmate in this case you want to attract money in your life rather than be like how am i going to make a million dollars tell yourself why do i want a million dollars now get into the detail portion don't just be like oh because i want to buy a lamborghini and a house no why do you want the lamborghini why do you want the house you'll be like well I always wanted to live, you know, comfortably. I always wanted to, you know, live without having to worry about, you know, paying off my bills. I always wanted to go travel and just dine in a restaurant without looking at my bank account. Exactly. The why. The why is it. The why is how you tap your emotions to your expectations and your emotions is what carries the frequency and that is how you communicate with the universe. So it is always the why. Focus on the why. Now you got the Ace of Wands and the Death card. A source is telling you a chapter in your life is going to close and a new chapter is going to start. This means maybe start closing a chapter at work and starting a new chapter when it comes to your work. Maybe right now someone is going to come and tell you that there's a new opportunity to start a business or invest in something. And right now source is telling you to really embrace this. Don't resist this. There is a big download or opportunity coming, but your angels are telling you that the only reason it hasn't happened yet is because you are not ready. And being 
being not ready means not being in the high frequency. So right now, remember, abundance flows where appreciation goes. So all you got to do to tap into that high frequency is really focus on abundance and really just let for use appreciation to get it. Appreciation, being grateful, thankful, excited, it is the quickest way. It is the cheat code to getting abundance, right? So for example, rather than be like, oh my goodness, you know, where, when am I going to get that promotion? Tell yourself, I am so grateful right now that I have a job. This is the way. I am so grateful right now that I have a job to pay my bills. I'm so grateful that I have food to eat. I'm so grateful that I have clothes to wear. I'm so grateful that I live in a country that's not war-torn, right? These things, by saying these things and being appreciative, now you're clearing the path to getting the abundance that you seek because by being appreciative, that's where abundance flows. It's like, almost like imagine like, abundance is a person and it only likes hanging around people that are appreciative, right? That's all you gotta do, become that energy. Then you got the Knight of Wands and the Devil. So right now, as an empath, I can sense, just like myself, a lot of people pleasing is happening. And right now, Source is telling you to really focus on you and don't people please. Focus on you and don't people please. Your thoughts create and your emotions really uh, match that, right? So. Right now, us empaths, we're always trying to make sure, are you okay, you okay, you okay? Oh, I gotta tone down my energy because I don't wanna make you uncomfortable. But you gotta understand that you need to shine, you need to be you, you need to be your genuine, authentic self. If you do this, then abundance will come from that. Everything you're looking for will come from that. But it all starts with you being you, and right now, Source is telling you to be your genuine, authentic self. Now you have temperance and the uh, a uh, king of swords. So the source is telling you that there's some overthinking going on and that overthinking is preventing you from feeling. And right now your angels are guiding you to come back home and be strategic with your energy. You gotta remember, like your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration. So you have to control your dominant vibration. Your angels are telling you right now to focus on your dominant vibration. That is the key to out of all this. What does that mean? Your dominant vibration is the energy that you attract every single time. So if your dominant vibration is what you feel, not what what you think. I'll give you an example. Your mind might be like, I think I can do this. Like, I think I can start a business, right? I really think I can do this. But your heart might be like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never started a business before. I'm petrified. You don't have brain and heart coherence. That means you don't trust yourself. You have to have brain and heart coherence to synergistically be able to take the leap of faith in anything you do in order for it to go right and be a heart-based decision, a love-based decision rather than a fear-based decision, which is like a scared decision. So right now, what does that mean? Right now, your dominant vibration is the most important thing in your life. I would focus on that all day, all night, right? Your heart, your emotions need to match your expectations. That why right there really helps you with that. And right now, Source is telling you that by doing so, by creating that protective bubble around yourself and not letting fear influence you, that there's going to be a surge of wealth coming into your life because new opportunities and synchronicities are coming. And right now, there's only one thing that matters, which is alignment first, action second, and that is the formula to your success. Alignment first, action second. Alignment first. So for example, if you have to do something and you don't feel good, do not do it. Do not do something when, you're, when you've uh, been overtrained, when you haven't slept enough, when you ate some junk food, when you are you know, uh, not being your genuine authentic self, when you don't feel good, when you had a bad day. Always wait, sleep on it. Like Make sure you eat some good food, sleep on it, wake up, feel good, then take action. Then it will be the right decision and every single time it works. So right now, alignment first, action second is the message from the universe. All right, Pisces, now let's tap into your affirmation of the day. I want you to write down the following affirmation. When everyone does it, that collective energy is extremely powerful. So write down the following affirmation as you type this out word for word, soak in the energy, the good vibration, the good karma, the good juju, the good, good frequency, right? Write the following affirmation in the comment section and soak in this collective energy. Write down, love comes to me naturally. Love comes to me naturally. Soak that in. Love comes to me naturally. Write that down. Love comes to me naturally. Soak that high vibration in. Quantum entangle with this energy. Love comes to me naturally. Let the universe know you are ready for love. All right, Pisces, I'm going to pull a final message from the universe, tying everything together, and check this out. Wow, one of my favorites, guys. White Raven Spirit. Right now, the message is trust in the magic. The universe wants you to trust in the magic. What is the magic? Magic means mystical, spiritual, and quantum if you want to get scientific with it. Magic means stuff your eyes cannot see, stuff you can't hold in your hand. Like for example, can you hold a opportunity 
No, right? But that's how you get rich. Can you hold a synchronicity? No, but that's how you meet your soulmate. So magic is where it's at. Don't worry about stuff you can see. Don't worry about stuff you can hold and stuff. Nikola Tesla said it best. He goes, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.